We're here to talk about a common myth about big speakers in the room. And it's something that I'm not sure how that happened other than it seems like it's sort of obvious. But let's, let's get to our question, which comes from Bryce in Washington, D.C. And Bryce writes, it's common wisdom, and there's that word, that <clears throat> more often than not, big speakers don't work well in small rooms. Why is that? Why is the particular issue at play? A three or four way floor standing speaker will often take up a similar footprint to a stand mounted speaker. So if the speaker can physically fit in the room, what's the problem? You often hear that big speakers can overload a small room. And does that just mean there's too much bass or does the same problem exist with bookshelf speakers and a subwoofer in the same room? Thank you, Bryce, for that question because it's one of the, the myths that I would like to sort of dispel. The size of the speaker within normal constraints really doesn't matter to the room. So I can have a big box in a room relative to a small box in the room. And if the driver sizes are the same, there's very little difference between the two other than the obvious problem that you have, and, and that is the actual size of the box, right? So if there, and I'm, uh, we're not talking closets here, right? So if you, let's just step back for a second. If you were to take a, a quote, normal set of loudspeakers, put them in a room, let's just say a stand-mounted set of two-way bookshelves that are on a stand, and they're where they should be, somewhere in the room. And if you were to move in a big dresser into the room, some big box thing, okay, and you put it in the room somewhere, it's going to cause the speaker system to perform differently because the room itself has changed, okay? Uh, put, a, put three couches, put, you know, two... And anything large in there is going to upset the room, is going to make the room different. It doesn't have to be a speaker. Uh, I hope I'm kind of making myself clear on here. The, the problem isn't with the big speaker. The problem is the big box. And if we ignore that problem for a moment, because we're not talking like, you know, huge differences here. Well, depending on the size of the box. <laughs> but... Uh, within within normal constraints of what we might imagine. If, if we now go to the example of having two loudspeakers, let's say we have, oh, a, um, gosh, an eight-inch woofer and a tweeter. And uh, uh, let's, uh, using um, Bryce's example here, we'll use a three-way. We've got an eight-inch woofer, we've got a oh, I don't know, a three and a half inch mid-range and we've got a tweeter, right? Now, if I place it into a small box and I were to power the speaker, and I'll tell you why I'm, I'm choosing to power the speaker uh, in a moment, and the box is only this big, then when I play that in the room, it's going to sound like X. If I take that same set of drivers and I put it in a big box, still amplified and outputting the exact same level other than the space taken up by the box it will sound the same same drivers sound the same in a room regardless of the box size except as I explained okay now why did I want to amplify it well one of the problems and he kind of alludes to it here is bass right small box speakers don't have much bass just a fact of life, unless you force them to. In our systems, we very much like servo. Servo control of woofers means that despite the size of the box, you can still put out prodigious amounts of bass. I can make a, a woofer box this big, and if I have enough power, that woofer box can put out as much energy into the room at low frequencies as a much bigger box with much less power 
because the woofer ha is more relaxed and it's in the back pressure of the little box. But in one case, I'm forcing it through the use of a servo, an amplified device or I am not. So the box size has a lot to do with how much bass in a passive speaker that it's able to produce. But Bryce is being pretty specific here. He wants to know if we have a small set of speakers with a subwoofer relative to a big set of speakers with all that built in. You're not really going to have much in the way of difference. I, I hope that wasn't too rambly and um, well there's, <laughs> there's, there's always our comment section and I can try and elucidate even more. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.